Next, the possibilities of getting more energy through water. Humans have long harnessed the power of water to perform work. In modern time, hydroelectricity generated by the power of water flowing through turbines at the base of dams has been a small but key source of renewable energy. But experts say there is a lot of potential for new sources of hydropower. A startup in Portland, Oregon, has developed one system that may one day be in cities around the country. Ari Srinivasan has our report. It is the latest story in our ongoing Breakthrough series on invention and innovation. Industrial engineer Susan Pretty takes advantage of rare sunny days in Portland to ride her Harley to work. And in her job as director of operations for Lucid Energy, she takes advantage of the region's abundant water supply. This small startup has developed a new technology. How's it going today? So what's our energy coming out today? Uh, right now we're running about 40 kilowatts. Pretty and Lucid engineers were monitoring the energy generated by drinking water as it flows through turbines integrated into these pipes. Lucid has designed the first hydroelectric system designed to harness the energy in gravity-fed drinking water pipes found throughout Portland and in many municipalities around the country. We dropped in recently for a tour. So here we are down in the vault. We've got uh, water flowing uh, this direction, with the turbines right here, yeah. and the flow of the water, because it's a lift-based system, uh, just turns the turbine, and then the turbine's connected to the generator. And from the generator, it goes through some power electronics across the street to the grid. How much energy is this thing generating? Uh, our nameplate is 200 kilowatts. Okay. So roughly enough energy for, to um, su supply electricity for 150 homes. The system was installed in Portland late last year and recently began operating at full capacity. Unlike some parts of the country, there's no shortage of water here. The city's well-known downtown fountains and most homes and businesses are supplied with gravity-fed drinking water from a pristine forest watershed near Mount Hood. There's no mystery to what we're trying to do. We're just recovering energy that's embedded in the flow of the water. Greg Semler is president and CEO of Lucid Energy. The privately funded company currently employs a handful of bike riding engineers who spend their days thinking of new ways to tap liquid energy flowing through pipes. Is that actually something that's just floating in space? This one right here? Yeah. It's mounted to the wall. Their office is based in a Portland incubator called Hatch with other small environmentally and socially focused startups. The advantage of the Lucid Pipe system is that we produce electricity all the time, around the clock, without any environmental impact. So it's very unusual to find sources of energy that you can produce electricity without any environmental impact in today's world. And how does it compare to the renewable energy sources that most of us are familiar with today, solar and wind. When you compare the cost of the Lucid Pipe power system with other traditional sources of renewables like wind and solar, to generate the same amount of energy that Lucid is generating would cost three or four times more for the same amount of energy. The 60-foot pipe and four turbines inside cost nearly $2 million to build and install, far more than a conventional section of water pipe. But a group of private investors are taking the risk, so it costs the city nothing to try. The city's power utility, Portland General Electric, PGE, has agreed to buy the energy at the same price as other renewable energy sources for the next 20 years. The plan is for Lucid Energy, the city's water bureau, and the investors to share profits. This is the first check for us delivering energy and being paid for it, so we are very excited. Representatives from PGE recently met with the Lucid team to see how the new system is working. Those two units over there are meters that really get to the power purchase agreement, and that's where the money is. We, yes. we want that cash register to go. <laughs> that one running a lot more than the other. <laughs> we want to spin, produce right? as much energy yeah, as possible. Yeah, Charlie Alcock is PGE's business development director. Here in Oregon, we have a renewable portfolio standard where we have to meet. Uh, and by the end of this year, 15% of our customers' energy use with renewable sources. We've been doing it mostly with wind and some solar, but uh, if this technology performs well, uh, it'll be on our list. Oregon isn't alone. 
Hydroelectric power is getting new attention from scientists and investors. Several East Coast companies are developing turbines to harness the power of tides in New York's East River and off the coast of Maine. Portland State University Vice President Jonathan Fink studies urban sustainability issues. We met him at one of Portland's ubiquitous food truck lots. We get uh, two minted lemonades. As we began to chat, Portland's notorious wet weather began to create streams of potential energy all around us. <laughs> this is awesome. Fink sees Lucid's technology contributing to a broader effort by communities to move away from non-renewable energy sources. In Portland, as an example, we get a lot of our energy from a coal-fired power plant uh, 200 kilometers east of here. That's not great. So how do we replace that? We're not going to replace it with one big nuclear power plant. We're going to replace it with a lot of conservation, a lot of smaller steps like what, what Lucid is doing with solar, with wind. What has to happen nationally and globally is each city does these experiments, figures out what works, and then they have to exchange that information. And then you add it all up and cities can really save a lot of energy. CEO Semler says the focus is now on developing turbines that could be placed in smaller drinking water pipes found closer to homes. They might be able to power like an electric vehicle charging station, essentially with free energy. The company is currently negotiating agreements with several cities in the U.S., including San Antonio and New York, as well as in other countries. And they hope to have more pipes and turbines in place in Portland over the next few years. For the PBS NewsHour, this is Hari Srinivasan in Portland, Oregon.